I was playing down in Baton Rouge one night. It, well, it was the night they were pulling all those miners out of the hole down in Chile. And uh, I was sitting there in the hotel room watching them pull those guys up out of the hole one at a time. And uh, man, I was just mesmerized by it. I didn't. I couldn't hardly make myself leave the room. But I finally left the room and went over to the Red Dragon and played a show and I kind of spontaneously did this song and it, it, it came out so well that I thought I'd put it on this record. Every morning at the mine you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245. Kind of broad at the shoulders and narrow at the hips and everybody knew he didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. He didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if you spoke at all, you just said hi to Big John. And nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. He didn't say much. I did this first, didn't I? <laughs> Somebody said he came from down in New Orleans where he got in a fight over a cage in Queen and a crashing blow from a huge right hand sent some Louisiana fella to the promised land. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big bad John. bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and hearts beat fast and everybody thought they'd breathe their last, said John. Through the dust and smoke of that man-made hell walked a giant of a man all the miners knew well. He grabbed a sack and timber, timber and gave out with a groan and like a giant old tree just stood there alone, big John. Big John, Big Bad John. And then with all of its strength, he gave a mighty shove, and a miner yelled out, there's a light up above. And 20 men strangled from a would-be grave, and now there's only one left down there to save, and that's John. So with jacks and timbers, they started back down, and then came that rumble way down in the ground, and smoke and gas belched out of that mine, and everybody knew that was the end of the line for Big John. Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. Well, they never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble stand out in front of it. And these few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies a hell of a man. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. Big John. Big bad job.